Hi everyone, so welcome to probably one of the most heavily requested videos on this channel and that is exactly how to add a spot the ball style competition to your existing website. Now one of the most popular versions of this is on BOTB which is best of the best, one of the biggest competition websites out there or the biggest competition website out there. So this add-on is going to give you the, the, the necessary tools to replicate something similar to that on your DIY raffle website or if you don't use the DIY raffle website there's a few other add-ons you need to get this working but without further ado we'll get straight into the video and hopefully you'll learn a wee bit more about spot the ball style competitions. Okay so here we have a completely blank installation of my DIY template. Now if you have no idea what this is I'll link in the description below which is a full video on how to set up your own competition website from scratch all in one video. So if you haven't got a competition website yet and you want to do a spotable version, um, I would first go to that video and I'll teach you how to set up a more traditional competition website and then come back to this video uh, once you've got that all set up and we'll uh, show you how to add on the spot the ball plugin. Okay, without further ado, there's going to be a link in the description for the link to purchase this uh, add-on. So you can see here, this is what it's basically going to look like. You're going to be able to add on... Uh, upload a picture mostly from Google or wherever you get it um, and give the your users the option to guess on that picture where they think the ball is now football or rugby you know whatever sport you might think even like baseball or basketball you know you can do whatever you want there's there's no limit to what you can do with this uh, you can see in this this simple image these are where the guesses are the wee X's and then the coordinates come up below where those guesses are and obviously each of those guesses is going to be the same price as a normal ticket. You'll also get a ticket number uh, so it's much easier to uh, identify who that person is rather than typing in coordinates and you know there could be multiple coordinates where they're the same from different customers. Okay so some more about this add-on so by, by far it's going to be the most popular requested add-on so um, the features of it, so add a spot the ball style game to the product page, make multiple guesses at once, uh, like I showed you just there, accurate X and Y axis guessing system, so uh, you, you'll know that images have pixels, so it might be 500 pixels wide by 500 pixels high, um, and that means there's going to be any, like 500 times 500 pixels in that image, and each one of those you're able to select. Um, so next is going to be a manually win set winning pixel or you can click the image to set the winning pixel yourself. So that means when it comes to you know picking a winner you'll have to either put in your own pixel that is the winning pixel uh, or you can click on the image yourself and then that will set that as the winning pixel just to make it super simple for you. Uh, you can then download the CSV of the ranked from closest to that winning pixel. Uh, to furthest away so you'll give your users a complete rundown of you know what happened in this competition. Next is the winner is automatically calculated by the finding the distance uh, in pixels away from the winning X and Y. So that means so say your winning pixel is 340 by 340 uh, that means that anyone around that it'll be calculated for you and give you a distance. So there's no weird things you have to do to make this work. Uh, hopefully I've made it as simple as possible for you to just, you know, try and make some extra money using this uh, style. Like I said before, the, the DIY competition uh, template is it compatible with, or if you don't have the DIY competition template, you can install these three plugins and then that will be uh, you ready to go. So go ahead and if it's something you want, add the basket, Proceed to check out and place your order. Okay, once the orders went through, you can see here that your downloads are a spot the ball add-on. Let's go ahead, hit the plug-in bit on the right-hand side that will download it to your computer. Head back to your WordPress website. So obviously this is completely blank. There's no products in this at the minute. I'll show you that. But if you go to the left hand side, plugins, and then add new, upload plugin. So you can either drag and drop onto this bit, or you can click choose, find it in your computer, and upload it that way. So you can click on install now. And then activate plugin. So 
what we're going to do now, now that it's um, added and enabled, so GFNI spot the ball add-on, we'll go and create our first product. So we're going to name this spot the ball. Obviously, this is for testing purposes, so you, you wouldn't <laughs> probably name your, your competition spot the ball. You would name it whatever the prize is, most likely. So with this add-on, you'll get this new box saying spot the ball. Now, this might not be right at the top. It might be underneath. It might be here. It might be there. So just make sure you go uh, spot the ball, enable spot the ball, then it'll ask you to upload a high-quality image. Now, I would say the best size of image to upload is around 500 pixels high and wide to say 800. So you don't want a massive image because the image is not going to be responsive. It needs to be the full size so that all the pixels are present on a screen. So you'll have to scroll through. So say you're on mobile, I'll show you in a bit, but you'll basically, you'll have to scroll through the image. It'll not fit to screen. And that's because we need it to be an accurate point on that image so it needs to be full size so that's why I say you know maybe keep it to around about 500 to about 800 pixels wide and hide and, and high so we'll actually just go ahead and look for a spot the ball image so I'm going to go here and go spot the ball images and then we'll go to images obviously these are pretty basic these ones so if you want to make your own or find your own somewhere you know you can do. So here's one here. So you'll see that this is uh, 1050 pixels by 660. We're actually going to open this in a new tab. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to crop this image. So it's going to be... Just type in crop image. So I'm going to select image or just drag and drop here. So using this tool I've never used this tool before, it's actually the first time I've seen it. So maybe something like this. Might be a bit better. You can kind of get people's eyes in. And then we're going to just go crop image. And download that cropped image, you'll see here it's just downloaded. You can do this any way you want. You can also add any size of image, I don't limit the size of image you can upload but I would say just say maybe it's best to upload an image around about this size so say we go like this and upload the image let that upload okay you'll see that image is now 719 by 660 now these things are important uh, and I'll show you why in a moment it's because it's the the size of the image does matter uh, with guessing Okay, next, as you go down, put in your price details as usual. If you don't have the DIY template, you'll not see this kind of stuff, but I'm sure you'll know that. So so we'll say, just say spot the ball again. Next, we're going to click on competition. The minimum tickets I usually set to one, but it's up to you. Uh, to find out more about this area, uh, do have a look at other videos uh, on my channel, especially the, the full how-to video. Max tickets per user, I usually leave blank. Number of winners, one. So say it's going to be... 10 pounds per ticket. The competition will start here and it's going to end here. Next, you have to allow ticket numbers and that makes it easy for you to select um, who wins. We don't use alphabet. Randomly assign the tickets numbers without using uh, picking the winner or picking their own number. Uh, so that's very important. And then manual winner picking. That, that's also very important. So you don't need anything else just there. Next, we're going to go click on live and that will make sure it goes on our homepage. Next, we'll actually upload another photograph. So this might be, if I go to media library. So say it's for to win this car. So that you can kind of see how the spot the ball image will be completely separate to the the product image because the product image is most likely going to be something you're actually trying to uh, raffle off okay so that's everything set up there we'll publish that okay next we're going to view that product so previous users of the diy template uh, might recognize this this page but you'll see one major 
uh, addition to it, which is the open game. So this, this is the area where the user is going to be able to click here, open the spot the ball game before um, before obviously checking out because they need to make their guesses. So what they're most likely going to do is use people's eyes and think, right, whereabouts is this ball going to be? Uh, and they can make more than one guess. So you can click on the image to make your first guess. So say I think, oh, right, okay, he's looking around about here. So is he, you know, whereabouts is that kind of lead or kind of, uh, crossover and maybe there but you can also add a few more guesses around it so all the user has to do is basically click or tap on their phone and they can guess as many times as they like uh, obviously each guess is one ticket so whatever your ticket price is gets multiplied by the amount of these but let's say the user doesn't like a certain guess they made they can obviously just hit the bin beside each guess and that will remove it from the page or the image and also um, their guest list here. So we can just click then save. So it comes up your guesses or your guest coordinates. And that means we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So enter now for 90 points because this ticket is, or this per ticket is uh, 10 points. So we'll click on enter now. And what this then does is splits the the guesses up into each product so each product has its own guess that means we can accurately track each guess to whatever um product we have for sale so scroll on down you can then obviously use coupon codes just like you've done before uh, the users that can't update the quantity of any of these and they go proceed to checkout enter in your information all good pay and place order so once you're placing your order, uh, it'll go through just a, like a normal competition website um, transaction should. And once you uh, have successfully paid, your guess will come up here, the coordinates, and also the ticket number that's related to that guess. So the reason we use ticket numbers for this as well as you know coordinates or um, really the main one is it makes it a lot easier for the user to know exactly what guess is related to what coordinates because no one's going to remember this but they remember that <laughs> if that makes sense um so when you do pull a winner it'll give the ticket number and the guess so they can go back and check and you know whatever they need to do so what happens when you do actually you know sell out of a competition uh, and you want to draw a winner so this is slightly up to yourself but i'm going to give you a couple of ways you can do it uh, if you know where the the ball is then i would go ahead and you know make your guess or put your coordinates in manually but if you go back to the to the product obviously this hasn't sold out yet but once it once it, it did sell out you can either do two things you can open the game and set the winner uh, the winning pixel that is uh, or set the x and y coordinates manually below uh, up the, the page to save so we can open the game from the product page so this is the product page uh, and everyone's guesses will come up here. So you'll see all these wee um, white crosses. They Those are your customer's guesses. These are the guesses that I've just done uh, on this video. Now, if you wanted, you can click on the, on the screen and that would set that pixel to the winning pixel. Or what you can also do, if you know what the pixel is, so say you uh, you know exactly what the pixel is, uh, and you know the x and y coordinates of that pixel then you can go ahead and manually set them in so say it's 500 and 300 is the is the winning pixel you can click show results or you can click wherever on the page so say what the actual winning pixel was this one then that was winning pixel 315 by uh, 432 and then underneath that, you'll see winning coordinates here. So 315 by 432. And then underneath that, these are my 10 or my nine guesses, uh, all ranked in the distance away from this pixel. So you'll see here that ticket number 40 or 24 is a, a distance of 56 point, you know, five, whatever. Um, away from the winning pixel. So that's exactly how you're going to um, recognize who the winning who the winner is who was the closest to your winning pixel uh, 
You can then download the results just by clicking here. It automatically downloads them to your, uh, your computer. But most importantly, once you've added in your pixels here, added in your, um, your winning pixel, which is the X and Y, hopefully all this makes sense to you. <laughs> Uh, but if you do have any more questions, please in the comments below let me let me know and I'll try and explain in a bit more detail. Uh, you'll need to update that page. Now, nothing overly dramatic happens when you update the page. No customers get emailed, all the rest of it. They, they don't get emailed. They'll only uh, get an email once you put in the winning ticket number. So that's going to be the next step. So if I go back down, you'll see the, the coordinates have been saved. And basically, here's the table that we've seen earlier. So that this is the place. So first place, second place, third place. So maybe if you have multiple winners, uh, so you're giving out first, second, third places. You can do that there. But the, basically, the winning ticket number is going to be 24. Uh, and that's just put in here. So if I go back up here, I'm actually going to move this. To, actually, I don't know if I can. You can't really change the maximum tickets. But say that's sold out. Uh, maybe I'll do that again quickly. I just want to show you after something sells out. So quickly just make another product. Just going to use the same spot the ball image. Set the minimum tickets to maybe 10 this time just so we can finish the competition uh, as soon as all the tickets are sold out. Make sure you tick on allow ticket numbers, randomly assign tickets and then manual winner picking. Head over and make our guesses again. So there's um, 10 tickets available, so we've added 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Save. Check out now. There we go. So all of our guesses have been made. This Please be patient, we're now picking our winner. So how do we pick the winner? Just like we did before there. I'm going to head on down to the spot the ball image section, open the game, and we're just going to set the winner to be there. So that's winning uh, x-axis is 309 and 438. So we just go down to results, perfect. And then that gives us ticket number seven, who won. So we can go ticket number seven in there. So you can set, set the winning coordinates here. So set winning coordinates by y only um only 34 we probably 0.88 px away okay you can post the csv on your social media or whatever if, if you want to show your clients or your customers exactly the where they came uh, because it gives you not only the distance for the first, but even for the last, who came furthest away. Um, so that could be quite funny to make fun of someone if they were <laughs> very far away. Uh, so we we'll have to go back up again, just after filling all those details in, and you need to save that product. There we go. So we go back to the product and we're able to see who the winner is. Congratulations to me. <laughs> Ticket number seven, well done, tickets number seven for blah, blah, blah winning. So that's pretty much the long and short of it. Hopefully this will make a, a big difference to your turnover and just give your customers something different uh, out there in the, in the competition space. So if you have any questions, make sure you give this video a quick like. And if you, again, any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll hopefully get back to you very soon. Cheers for watching.